Hi, I am Jamie Rankin, and I am a lifesaver. I was 266, 270 pounds, and I, did, I didn't, you know, I thought about my weight, but I didn't think about my weight, you know? And it's, I eat, I, you know, I eat before bed, and, you know, I didn't do a lot of walk, not exercise. I'm so, you know, I'm athletic enough where I can do stuff, but it wasn't, uh, it wasn't my priority, I guess. I knew I needed to do, do, do something, you know, I, I, I don't want, a mother was in the nursing home for 11 years and there's part of me saying I don't want that, not that she had, you know, that she didn't want it neither, but if you don't take care of yourself now, you know, I want to be around for my kids, my son Logan, my daughter Kayla, and my, Logan's wife, Ash, and now I have a grandson. So, you know, he's a year, year and a half old and he's, oh my God, it's unbelievable and I want to be able to go and you know go and watch him play ball or, or whatever he's into and stuff you know and I want to be there besides the walking I'm into kayaking with my wife and stuff and we do a bike ride so yeah we, we do a lot of different stuff and then of course the eating habits is a big thing uh, what I really changed in the last 10 months is at lunch hour you know I'd always go to vending machines you know a bag of chips and I bring sandwiches or soup or whatever you know precision machine actually is has helped that cause because they brought in a big refrigerator and they're bringing in all these good foods for people to eat the fiber bars weren't there before the good so the good subs the whole wheat subs the soups uh, the oranges and apples they have all that there for you so if you can't find anything that's good for you to eat there there's something wrong you know, I started this at 266 and I'm at 212 now. As people from my age, just because you're 55 years old or 56 years old doesn't mean you can't start. You, you can do this anytime. Is it too late? No, I don't think it's too late. I'm sure there's some damage to my body that wouldn't be what it is now if I would have took care of myself. So that's what I'm telling people now. I mean, don't wait. Do it now and don't say I'm going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to start next week. To be able to do what I'm doing, I don't think I could do it without somebody. And I'm so ha thankful that Emily is that person for me, and she's going to like this, and my dog, Oliver. I did put you first, Emily. But uh, it's always, you know, it says there's times we'll text each other. So what time are you coming home, or what time am I coming home? We're going for a walk tonight, right? We're going for a walk tonight. Yes, we kind of time it together. So if I'm doing something, I want to tie something, get that done, so I'm home at that time, or vice versa, she does the same thing. And I, you know, if you think it's hard, try to find somebody to do it with, because I think that extra push, because she's pushing me and I'm pushing her, you know, it helps a lot, it really does. And get a dog, I think the dog is, is big.